So the first step in getting the extruder apart to uh, clean out the nozzle and barrel is uh, to disconnect the heater and the thermistor. And then undo the four screws that hold the motor on. And then uh, the two screws that hold the extruder onto the uh, X carriage. Uh, most printers, these actually will be nuts. This is an earlier model where the screws face the other direction. And off it goes. Next, I'll take off the idler arm. This is the part with the bearing that holds the filament against the gear. And take off the thumb screw, the washer, spring, there are the washers. That allows that to open out. I just need to get this screw off to be able to take the arm out. This one has a nut behind it. Okay, I've got that one free. And the only thing holding the pieces of acrylic together now are this bolt up at the top. And then once you take this out, the extruder is going to turn itself into a big jigsaw puzzle. Um, so just try and take out a couple layers at a time until they're enough for a free and can pull out the hot end. And try and keep this all together so I can remember what order everything went. And then I need to get the uh, brass heater barrel out of the peak insulator barrel. And you should be able to do that just the finger tight without having to use tools if it's loose enough. If it's tight, you can grip this with the pliers with something between the pliers and the barrel to keep it from getting scratched and use a socket on the nozzle. going to take off the thermistor by just slicing the captain that's holding it on and we'll set that <coughs> to the side. Before I did any of this I warmed up the extruder and pulled the plastic out so um, it only goes this is the melting where it was melted down to the top of the barrel so this is where it pulled out so I don't have any plastic left inside the insulator. Then, I'm going to unscrew the heat core. And now I'm left with just the nozzle and the barrel. The nozzle is pretty tight, and I don't want to grip this with the pliers because I don't want to mash the threads. So I'm going to put some nuts on instead that I can hold with the pliers. So I'm going to 
hold down the bottom nut and I'm going to tighten down the top nut to lock them together. Now I can hold on to the bottom nut and it won't try to unscrew. I'll use the socket to unscrew the nozzle. Now we'll keep this on to still be able to use it as a handle for um, cleaning out the filament. So now I've got the barrel and the nozzle. Now if this has been clogged up, instead of being white or uh, whatever color filament you left in here, this will probably be sort of brown and burnt looking. And you'll also see some of that in the bottom of the nozzle as well. Um, this nozzle is actually still, still pretty clean. It looks pretty good.